Could you tell for the listeners uh, what global utility means in concrete terms? And then uh, it would be interesting to hear your assessment or your arguments, what white people, uh, what their positive or negative influence is on global utility. God is basically the primary teller and in God, existence or ontology is coupled with knowledge or epistemology. In other words, God's utility takes the form of self-knowledge. God is refining himself and learning about himself by evolving. He's an identity operator. That's what we all do because we inherit this propensity from God. So that's global utility. Basically anything that helps God better himself, refine himself, identify himself in a positive manner that is consistent with his true nature, with his true this identity, primal identity operator that it couples being and knowledge. Anything that furthers that has generic utility, okay? And we're all instances of that, okay? In other words, we all, we're the tools or the instances, the instantiations of this kind of generic utility. And we can localize it, you know, to our own particular contexts and play it out as though in a theater and God can benefit from that. And he can actually coordinate it, putting us together with each other and, and making sure that beneficial things happen as a result of the way he knits our worlds together. As far as you're asking about who has positive global utility and who doesn't, well, Jesus Christ had great positive global utility. All right, and there are plenty of other people that have in history to a lesser extent. And there are potentially people who have had uh, global utility that is almost equal to that of Jesus. 